Further fostering Arab African investment, opening new channels of communication, and attracting more investments. A very important and a noble cause here discussed on this special edition of Exclusive. have all these ministers and all these uh, ambassadors from, uh, the, from the countries of Africa who are very happy because they prove their interest and they want to collaborate with us not only for investment but also for trade which is very important for our country and this I think is the only gate to go out through uh, this uh, crisis all over the world and really you are very uh, glad to have your TV with us, always supporting Nile TV, supporting the movement of commerce, investment, and uh, supporting the economy. Thank you so much. Supporting the private sector and NGOs. And today we announced to really reach success, we should work all together. All the presence tonight was uh, from the ambassadors, especially we got two very important ambassadors, the ambassador of Serbia and the ambassador of Gambia, who came and to announce the present of their first lady. The first lady of Serbia is the second time for her to attend and to come to Egypt for our event, which means a lot. That uh, she appreciates and she knows the value of Egypt, especially now for the investment after the High Council for Investment with the President Sisi headed it. He's the head of. That's mean a lot for her and for all the participants. And also the First Lady of Gambia were so happy when the ambassador came and he announced the present as the attendance participation of the First Lady of Gambia. And the presence of the First Lady of Gambia, it really mean a lot also for us because she represents the African First Ladies and the African head of NGOs who really care about their country, the sustainable development, uh, really were so happy. The <laughs> والفضل كل الفضل لله سبحانه وتعالى ثم لكم انتم شرفتوني واكرمتموني وعزتوني ورفعت راسي قدام الدنيا كلها باللي انتم عملتوه والله 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 لن يستطيع اي رئيس يقف مكاني هنا ان يقدر يعمل حاجه بدونكم لن يستطيع قصه وطن يتحدث عن نفسه شعب أراد الحياة فاستجاب له القدر Government, private sector and NGO we should really put hand to hand Nowadays it's not the time where private sector said I can do it alone No, the government alone also no NGOs also no But if really three of us we put hand to hand we became one hand we face all the problem which could affect our economy or the economy of any country of the world the only solution is to put hand to hand and to think also out of the box how to create the triangle of success by the volonté, uh, the, the feeling of responsibility of everybody. We should create a triangle of success between countries which offer facilities for investment and other countries who had financial, they are strong financially, and the third one who has a lot of uh, experience, accumulated experience and technology and know-how. When we create this triangle, I think it will be the only solution to go out of the crisis and really to prove we as women and businessmen with us, we can do a lot together, hand to hand, 
with our government and our private sector and the NGOs. Actually, as I have mentioned uh, a while ago, um, you can see all the achievements that have has been done in the last nine years in different sectors, in different tracks, infrastructure, transportation, um, electricity, petroleum sector, industry sector, trade sector, everywhere. We are trying hardly to move on, not only uh, looking at what we have achieved uh, in the last nine years, but there is clear plans, clear instructions to double what we have achieved in the last nine years in the coming uh, six years, whether in the field of uh, trades, uh, industry, transportation, electricity, you name it. Master, فيها 100 million. مصر كمان مساحتها مليون كيلو متر مربع بس في حجم ضخم جدا من الاراضي احنا مش عايشين عليه ما خدناش بالنا على مدى 60 70 سنه فاتوا ان الكلام ده هيبقى ليه تاثير كبير جدا وخطير على حياتنا ومستقبلنا لكن احنا مش سايبين لا القاهرة ولا اسكندرية ولا بورسعيد ولا المحافظات بنتحرك في كل القديم والجديد مع بعض عشان يليق بينا ويليق بالمصريين يعني الموضوع مش مش مباني بس لا ده تطور كبير قوي احنا بنعمله فارجو ان احنا نستعد مفكرين مثقفين فنانين هذا الحدث الكبير ميلاد دولة جديدة بافتتاح العاصمة الجديدة ميلاد دولة جديدة إعلان جمهورية تانية We are coming to a level and to a stage not only be a regional hub for investors from overseas but also be a hub for international companies, for multinationals, in order to increase their investments in Egypt. And also we need to attract more multinationals in all the sectors that you are seeing. Uh, ongoing process is in every and each single ministry in, in Egypt, every and each single uh, organization, and we are partnering the government is partnering with the private sector. We need to increase the involvement, the participation, the share of the private sector in the uh, econo uh, Egyptian economy, coming from 60, 65% to reach 80 and 85%. And that's the strategy of the government, the strategy that has been cleared, announced, and identified in the last year. And I hope in the coming period, not only working with the multinationals, with the international companies, but also integrated among Africa. We need to work with the African companies, whether on trade basis or uh, investment basis. There is a lot of opportunities within Africa. We need to have more uh, activities with the African continent, especially that we are having uh, the Comesa Agreement, the African Continental Free Trade Area that will be implemented very soon and it, it will open doors for the exporters, for the investors to integrate together with zero customs and zero taxes.
tourism is promising to grow uh, year on year. Uh, this year uh, we're targeting to reach 15 million uh, uh, a person to tourists to come to Egypt and in, within five years we're promising to reach uh, double this number so and and the, the industry of tourism is based on private sector uh, is based on investments and really growing this market from this side uh, this forum is quite important because it's shed light it's shedding light on the importance of this uh, investment opportunities in the field of tourism and uh, really promising a good return on the investments and also growth in this uh, in this field yeah. this will be adding to our offerings to the beauty of Egypt I have not met anyone who did not is not saying that I wish to come to Egypt one day lots of tourists are uh, uh, postponing their, their trip to come after the integration of the gem uh, next year and uh, it's another addition to the wealth of, uh, of Egypt's cultural uh, offerings. Explore Egypt. From Cairo to Alexandria. Sharm el-Sheikh to Hurghada. Try to descend the mystery of the Sphinx. Meditate on the cemetery of the pyramids. Explore incredible marine life in Marsa Island. Safaris into the desert of South Sinai. Relax with a view of the Nile. It was my great honor to announce uh, tonight that uh, one of the guests uh, participating at the conference uh, that will be held in Sharm el Sheikh uh, will be the First Lady of Serbia, Ms. Tamara Vucic. And uh, she actually will be participating at the conference. And she's very happy that uh, it will be held in Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, a beautiful city, a beautiful tourist uh, destination for tourists from Serbia and uh, a place uh, uh, of special interest for Serbia because we have uh, brotherly relations uh, between Sharm el Sheikh and the third uh, largest city in Serbia, Niš. So we are very much looking forward to ending a good year in our bilateral relations by the visit of our First Lady. This is a good opportunity, the conference is a good opportunity to discuss. Uh, Serbia participates in this Arab-African uh, uh, cooperation uh, uh, organization as a friendly country because the, the issues of uh, cooperation economically does not have boundaries African or Arab, it concerns all the, the states in the world, so the cooperation on a global level is very much needed and we are very much looking forward for the opportunities that, be, that will be provided by this conference for our business as well. There will be uh, companies for, from Serbia attending the conference, so uh, I'm optimistic that we will move forward in our cooperation that is having a very good momentum, we are improving in every aspect after the historical visit of President of Egypt CC to my country uh, in July of last year. Our history goes right back to the time of our independence and it has grown from strength to strength from that time even up to today. And there's very, very strong relationship, especially between the presidency of the two countries, His Excellency Al Sisi and His Excellency Nana Dudanko Ekufuado of Ghana. And I'm very happy to be in this great country to further strengthen that relationship. Let me first acknowledge the role that Egypt has played in the establishment of the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, which is headquartered in Ghana. 
and which is driving the continental trade agenda. And uh, we look forward to having greater cooperation between our two countries and other African countries so that we can drive the economic development of the entire continent and then get the Africa that we really deserve and that we really need. <laughs> وتتطلع كعادتها دوما للتعبير عن شواغل الشعوب الافريقيه الشقيقه الراميه لتحقيق الاستقرار والتقدم ودفع عجله التنميه قدما. اذا كنتم ترغبون في تغيير وجه القاره الافريقيه فالاتحاد الافريقي كقياده تستطيع ان تعمل وتدرس بشكل مركزي لمشروع عملاق لبناء بنيه اساسيه على مستوى القارة أنا أتصور أن الأمن والاستقرار استثمار Egypt has always been a great friend of Ghana and of the whole continent and the leadership has been phenomenal and we have no doubt that in the coming years through your agenda the strategic initiative that we've taken I know of your uh, Egypt strategic plan for the year 2030, which em embraces a whole lot of political, economic, social, particularly the Kaya Karima, which is uh, the Decent Life program, yes. which is something that we want to replicate across the continent because it addresses the needs of the ordinary person in the country. Knocking new doors and also unleashing new opportunities. More here on Exclusive. We've been discussing new opportunities that have been unleashed as Africa, the continent that we aspire. There are lots and lots of opportunities and lots of doors that remain to be unlocked. Thanks for watching. Well, next week, another edition. Until then.